Now we're again working with the, our initial data set. We are going to convert our data set, the potential confounders, into a matrix form. So we know how to do it. We take the data set, we deselect the D and uh, Y, and then we say as matrix, which we can totally do because all of the variables are numeric. Now next, we take the data set and we save the outcome variable as y vector. We do the same but for d and we run the code. Now we want to split the data into two equally sized samples, an auxiliary i and main ic samples. So we sample observations from a 1 to n sample size and we want it to have the size of n divided by 2. So we have 100 observations in this data set and we want 50 of them to be sampled. To be extra sure you can say replace equal false. So it's sampling without replacement. And then we ask to sort it so that they are sorted in the ascending order. I see would be everything that is different between the initial set of our uh, observations from 1 to 100 and those that we sample to be in the auxiliary set i. And let's see what i is now. As you can see, i is the, is the sample, is the auxiliary sample, which samples observation number 5, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, and so on, up to 97. And there are in total 50 observations that we put into the auxiliary set. And so IC would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6. Let's check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 10, and so on. Then we train lasso model on the auxiliary sample to predict Y from the predictors, excluding the treatment variable D. So we have X on the auxiliary sample i, we subset only rows that are in our auxiliary sample, and only the y vector in the auxiliary sample i. So alpha equals 1, best lambda would be the best lambda that will be found by, by our cross-validation, and then last y would be glm net at lambda equals to uh, best lambda y. Now we do the same for d. This is a mistake, should be d here. So I just copy this code, put it here, change everywhere on d for d. d vector, d vector, d here d here. And finally we predict y and d for the main sample. So main sample I see. Uh, predict y from using lasso y. Uh, new x would be all the x's that are in the I see our main sample and s would be best lambda y. Clearly here it will be last so d, new x is the same, and best lambda d. Get the residuals. What would be the residuals is the vector y minus predicted y but remember, vector y, not all of it, but just those that correspond to IC, the main sample. And the same for D. And double machine learning estimator would be residual of y of on the residuals of D divided by the residuals D squared. Mm. 
Ah, sorry. A y vector and d vector. And the estimate is 1.55. So let's continue. Now we should create a cross-fitted double machine learning estimator function. So create the matrix of predictors, also y vector and z vector. Train lasso for y, train lasso for d. Uh, do the prediction stage and get the residuals. We first create double machine learning function, which takes the data and what should be, how we split the sample into two for estimation and for training. We create a matrix of predictors, so like as we did before. So we put all this code that we did before into one function to, create, to estimate one double machine learning estimator given i and c. So what is the difference between all of this code is that now we just call the things not a data set but data because now it's part of a function where data can be any other data that we will supply and we will call it data. But in all other respects, the code is exactly the same as before. Double machine learning estimation formula is basically the last part here, which we then pipe and we return just the numeric value. And so now we can apply this function, DML estimator, where data is equal to data set i is equal to i, which we already created, and ic is equal to ic. Mm. Next, we get to create a cross-fitting. So cross-fitting have to make two estimates. So using one part of the data as the training sample and another one as estimation sample, and then we switch the roles. So estimate, estimate one will be just the DML estimator. We just put this into here, but the data is equal to data. Mm -hmm. And now, we call the same function, but we switch the roles of i and ic. And finally, we may create a data frame that gives you the weighted average between the two estimates. Then the double machine learning cross-fit function, or, or, or as applied to the data set, would be 1.55. Now we want to apply this exact function 100 times, right? Now this is just a function, so we can just do map dfr dot x equal to c1 to n c. And the function is cross fit. Our data is equal to a simulated 100 nested column data text um, i is equal to i ic is equal to ic then we want to plot estimates and then we want to calculate the mean and standard deviation estimate so finally we get the results and double machine learning does a better job than a naive lasso, but I think in this case it does a worse job than, clearly a worse job than a double selection estimator. And if we compare finally also all the, the same plot, but with the, all the estimators, including double machine learning estimator, you would see that the double machine learning estimator, even using cross-fitting, is not really doing a great job here.